Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a really nice one here. Jaspie's 19 box All Rise Baseball Mixer, a random team break. We're calling it that because we're giving away an Aaron Judge one of one. There it is right there. Nike swoosh, on-card autograph, memorabilia sticker, one of one from Dynasty. Some pretty nice stuff. Everyone in this break has a chance at it. All card ship, a lot of nice boxes here including a, a Hit Parade autograph hat and a, and a baseball mini helmet right here as well, which is pretty cool. We'll do those two at the end, play a little trivia, play a little Who Am I. All right, and we got two Chase the Mantle spots in this one. So first off, uh, we're gonna do two separate randomizers. We'll do one for the Aaron Judge, grab everyone's names, and then for the Mantle stuff, we'll grab everyone's names again, and it'll be top two. It'll be two different dice rolls, or one dice roll, two different lists. Just FYI, that's how I'm going to do it. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. I know it took a little bit of time to fill, but I think it's definitely worth it. And congrats to the people who won their way in with uh, those prison pack breaks. All 30 teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Five and a four. Four and a five. Nine times for names and teams. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Four and a five, nine times for the uh, teams. All right, four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and ninth and final time. So we got the Phillies down to the Texas Rangers. We're up to bat now. All right, Taylor, you got the Phillies. Eugene with the Mariners. Matt with the Tigers. Matt Smith with the Angels. Nick with the Nats. Adam with the Red Sox, Eugene with the Diamondbacks, Sean with the Blue Jays, Lucas with the Cubs, Aaron last spot, Mojo with the Mets. Roil, you got the Pirates, Tim with the Yankees, Taylor with the Cardinals, Brett with the Guardians, David with the A's, Terry with the Royals, Alexander with the Twins, Tristan with the Reds, Tim with the Rockies, Bart, you got my Dodgers, and with your uh, the spot you want in the filler, the Brew Crew. David with the Braves, Eric Houston, Orioles, and Rays. John with the Giants. David with the Padres, Eugene with the Marlins, Jamie with the White Sox, Judson with the Astros, and David with the Texas Rangers. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break, so we will see you on the other side. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. No deals were done, so let's go with this break. And Corey Seager, first time back in Dodger Stadium since he was a Dodger, has hit a three-run homer off of old teammate and buddy Walker Bueller. I don't know if they're buddies, but old teammate. Uh, here on the 12th, hump day. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Now, I should write TWC to in the chat to indicate trade window close. Let me do that right now. There it is. And um, there's the mixer right here, including the mini helmet box right here. We're going to go through the base heavier stuff first. Uh, so let's start with 2020 Bowman Draft First Edition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Maybe some people in the chat can help us out with this. Rex brought up this question of, uh, what do you think the worst baseball trade has been in the last, like, decade? I know the Jordan Alvarez trade. The Dodgers traded Jordan Alvarez when nobody really expected him to be who he was. But they traded Jordan Alvarez to the Astros for um, 
A relief pitcher? Josh Fields, maybe, if I remember correctly. You know what, Rex? What about what about the Fernando Tatis Jr. trade? I think the White Sox had him. I think it was kind of like Jordan. I don't think he was super highly touted at the time of the trade. But it just turned out that it turned out that both players ended up being really good. But the White Sox traded away to Tease Jr. to the Padres. I forget who was involved in that deal, but that happened. Um I'm trying to think of what are some other trades. I suppose you could argue that the Juan Soto trade wasn't very good. The Padres gave up a, a lot of assets who are a couple of whom are playing pretty well in in uh in Washington right now. But they and then Juan Soto just uh and then they traded him to the Yankees. They really, I don't know if they really got the same return back. What, what do we got going on in baseball today? We got the Yankees beat the Royals 11 to 5. Giancarlo Stanton had a massive 449 foot home run. Uh, Cardinals beat the Pirates 4 to 2. Red Sox beat the Phillies 8 to 6. Mets beat the Fish 10 to 4. Starting Marte homer. Reds beat the Guardians 4 to 2. Yimer Candelario. Homers twice against the Guardians. Cubs beat the Rays 4-3. Bellinger had a three-run homer. Here's one of the guys that the Padres trade, C.J. Abrams. Even the score for the Nationals with a dinger. They ended up beating the Tigers 7-5. Colton Cowser had a two-run homer. Beat the Braves, or beat the Braves 4-2. I saw this game on TV earlier today. Jackson Merrill, second homer of the day, was a walk-off. Padres beat the Athletics 5 to 4. A few other finals, Giants beat the Astros 5 to 3. Brewers beat the Blue Jays 5 to 4. Willie Ademis with a with a homer, 446 foot homer. The Twins had 24 hits against the Rockies today. They beat the Rockies 17 to 9. I'm sure everyone had the over on that game. Did we say all card ship in this? Yeah, all card ship. So you'll get all, all the paper and you'll get the Logan Allen. I think the Aqua is not numbered, right? The Pete Crow Armstrong bias trade. Yeah, that was that was, was not bad. Not not a good one for the Mets. Although we'll still have to see what Pete Crow Armstrong, what he turns into. There's Tink Hens to 150. For the uh, Cardinals, that's going to be for Taylor. And then we've got Isaiah Green. Yellow parallel to 75. Speaking of the Mets, that's going to go to Aaron. Anyone else can think of any, uh, think of any trades that in the last 10 years or so that have been pretty bad? There's Addison Coffey to 150 for the White Sox. It's going to be for Jamie. I'm not sure. That's just, that's not a first first. We're looking for first firsts of some key players. Especially, especially key hitters. Who would be in this? Is this... Is this Jason Dominguez here, maybe? Oh. Or maybe it was Torkelson. I did see a Torkelson, but his, there's Jason Dominguez. Not his first first, though. Maybe it's Torkelson, but the shine has kind of come off of Torkelson since 2020. There's Ed Howard. What's Ed Howard's status, Rex? There's a Robert Hassel. He's pretty good. This is Padres edition. 
for David. Bobby Miller first firsts are in the mix, although the pitchers obviously don't do as well on the secondary mark and then they're hitting counterparts, unfortunately. Here's Jordan and Wagwu, 35 out of 50 gold. Uh, Julio is just a first edition. It's another cub for Lucas. Zach Veen, I think, maybe could be pretty good, right, for the Rockies. Tim with the Rockies. Yeah, Jason Jason was saying yesterday after the Dodgers scored like 15 runs, he was like, watch, the Dodgers are going to score like one run tom tomorrow. We're in the bottom of the fifth and they only have one run. Hey, there you go. Kevin Biggio, first hit as a Dodger. Ian Seymour to 150 for the Rays. There's a Heston Kirkstad, that's right, he's in there. Ooh, and a red. Jimmy Glowenke, two out of five. Train whistle in the first box. John, with my rivals, the Giants, a second round pick. Let's see if he's doing anything. This is 2020, so, I mean, I feel like we have to start thinking, thinking maybe we gotta start seeing him now. He's already 25, still at double A. Yeah, yeah, not, not, he's hitting 197 with a couple homers, nine RBIs, a couple stolen bases, and 122 at bats. Still a train whistle. Still a train whistle. So, John, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! For the former second overall pick, I don't know, maybe maybe he's a late bloomer. All right, there's Kirkstad for Eric Houston and the Orioles, first first. There's Ian Seymour for the Rays, once again, also for Eric. Helio Ramos has been playing really well. Is that a Vol Volpe? That's just first edition, not a first first. This one right here, 2022 Bowman Draft Asia Edition. Ed Howard is just eh. Uh, more like like eh Howard. Yeah, you, you had the joke right there, Rex. You should have been like more like eh Howard. But missed opportunity. Royce Clayton has been playing surprisingly well. Royce Clayton. Isn't Royce Clayton an old Giants? An old Giants uh, shortstop? Yeah, Royce Clayton, 55 years old, the righty, yeah, played for the Giants. 91 to 95, and then bounce around. Cardinals for a couple seasons, Rangers for a couple seasons, White Sox a couple seasons, Brewers one season, Rockies one season, Diamondbacks one season, Nationals and Reds in one season, Blue Jays and Red Sox. He was an all-star in 97, though, with the Cardinals. Old Royce Clayton. Classic. Yeah, at 55 years old, 54 years old, he would be a, a pretty cheap pickup if any team wanted to pick him up. And there's Victor Medeiros, 55 out of 250.
Matt Smith with the Angels. Oh, Royce Lewis. A cheap pickup for, for who? I don't think the Twins are looking to trade Royce Miller. Is, or Royce, Royce Miller. Now I'm saying wrong last names. Royce Lewis, right? We got a Jacob Miller. Speaking of Millers. One oh one out of four ninety nine. Oh, a card pickup, I see. There's a Bowman first, Jackson Holiday. That'll be for Eric Houston and the Orioles. Kumar Rocker. Tamar Johnson, Purple Chrome, Bowman first. Uh, 64 out of 250 for the Pirates. That's going to be for Roby. Kumar Rocker, Bowman first. We'll go to Texas. That's going to be for David. And Jackson Trio, not a Bowman first. All right, that was Bowman Draft Asia edition. Nice. Uh, what should we do next? Should we go back in time a little bit? No, maybe we'll do this finest. No, let's do Bowman's best first, 2022. Then we'll do 2023 finest. Just kind of winging it here. We're gonna get to some of the some of the uh, the good stuff, the sort of one pack per box sort of stuff, pretty soon. go through the rest of the baseball scores. I think I went through all the finals. Game, there's a few games in progress. Bottom of the ninth, White Sox Mariners are tied up at one. I don't know what happened last night, but a couple nights ago, a nice little walk-off by Cal Raleigh to beat the White Sox. I think last night was a close game too for Seattle. Yeah, they ended up being the, the the Mariners beat the White Sox yesterday as well, four to three, with two runs in the bottom of the seventh. So that was pretty late, and they're leaving it late here tonight as well, tied up at one. Uh, top of the eighth, Angels are cruising. They're up eight nothing on the uh, Diamondbacks. Um, in the top of the eighth in Arizona, Diamondbacks have only managed three hits. Jose Soriano. Working on a three hitter. Oh, nice. And then the uh, and the Dodgers are here, just down a couple runs in the top of the sixth. The Dodgers pounded out fifteen runs last night. Makes him a good fade candidate the next night. But I don't know. Still a lot of game left. All right. Here we go with this one. There's Ellie Dela Cruz. Uh, mini diamonds. Not numbered? Numbered on the back to 299. Tristan with the Reds. I think Eric Cole's going to be coming back soon. That's a nice Jeremy Pena rookie card. And Todd Bradley is your autograph for Eric Houston and Tampa Bay. J. 
Jeremy Pena for the Astros. That'll be for Judson. Julio Rodriguez rookie card. These will go to Seattle. That's going to go to Eugene. And there's your other graph, other autograph, Zach Neto. Zach Neto didn't has he done anything today? He has actually very nice. He's one of their top prospects. Went has gone. I guess I don't think he's going to be due up next, right? It's already going into the bottom of the eighth. He might get another at bat, but uh, three for four, two RBIs. He had a home run today. Matt Smith with the Angels. He barely spent any time in the minors before they called him up. There's Jordan Lawler, green to 99. And, and we were just talking about him. Look at this. Rex conjuring up some Royce Lewis's here. Royce Lewis rookie autograph. Good time to get him. Rex said he's had, I might have to fact check him, but he's had five homers in the last nine games. According to Rex. And that's Alexander with the Twins. It's Fernando Tatis, Global Impact Die Cut, Atomic. Refractor. And there's there's Yes and More Bell. Texas Rangers. A little color match, blue parallel going to David with the Rangers. Up on my Dodgers right now. There's the number right there. 140 out of 150. Look at this lava Ellie Della Cruz. That's cool. 199, that will be for uh, Tristan. Wow. In addition to the homer that I mentioned earlier, Rex saying he also had three hits in addition to that homer. We'll do a we'll do a recap at the end of the break as well. All right, now we go to 2023 finest. I think this might be the last of the base heavier stuff. We'll do some uh some sapphire, and then we'll start working through the one thing per box, and then the memorabilia. And for the hat and the mini helmet, we'll do a we'll do a little who am I? And remember, uh, for the giveaways at the end of the break, we're going to do two separate randomizers with the full list. One of them will be for the Aaron Judge. The first one will do the Aaron Judge, and the second will do um, the two Chase the Mantle entries. So first one will be for the Judge. Second full list will be for the Mantle. I just want just to make that really clear. So again, grain of salt, according to Rex, 30 at-bats, hitting 367, five homers, eight RBIs, and a 1.327 OPS, man. It's quite the run for him. There's Shea Langliers, rookie auto for the A's, David.
Gunnar Henderson rookie card, Lenyon Sosa to 250, Lenyon Sosa autograph. That will be for the White Sox. That's for Jamie. We'll get this purple chrome as well. And Gunnar Henderson, Eric Houston, Houston with Baltimore. There's Shintaro Fujinami to 300. Corbin Carroll rookie card, 88 out of 199. Rookie card. Slumping a little bit this year, but uh, he definitely has a high ceiling. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be too worried. Diamondbacks for Eugene. And we got a Josh Young rookie. 26 out of 125. Green speckle for the Rangers. That's going to be for David. Freddie Freeman's got a walk. There's Luis Castillo, 45 out of 99. Mariners edition for Eugene. And that's that for Finest. Could be in the running for Comeback Player of the Year, yeah. Him and who else were we were just talking about another guy yesterday. I think Tariq Skubal was coming off of Tommy John or something like that. Alright, let's get some sapphire going here. 2019 a Topps Chrome Sapphire. Can you imagine Pizzle if one, one day a few years from now the Diamondbacks trade Carroll to the Dodgers? I don't think the Diamondbacks would ever do that. At least not for a player of that caliber. And we got, is that an auto? Yes, Bryce Wilson, rookie auto for the Braves. David. That's a Juan Soto red. Four out of five, another red. This is Nationals edition. Nick Stanley with the Nats. That's awesome. Nice little color match there. Really sharp looking card. I think this is, his rookie year was 2018, right? So this, this should be second year Juan Soto? I think. Anyway, Nick, either way, really nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. That's a Pete Alonzo rookie card. That's going to go to the Mets. That'll be for Aaron. All right, now let's go to 2021 Topps Chrome Sapphire Update Series. What player right now in the first or third season can you see become the next Judge, Soto, Tatis, etc., etc.? a good question. I'd have to I'd have to look at a list. I mean, I guess who is leading you know, the odds in AL and uh, AL and NL rookie of the year. 
Um, Gunnar Henderson, right? That he's in his second year. I feel like he's doing really well. I feel like that could be a that could be a future superstar in the making. You know, I know Julio Rodriguez is slumping a little bit this year, but but I feel like he's got that that sort of superstar potential. And those are the couple names that jump out at me. Bobby Wood Jr. Here's a Chad Cool, 23 out of 25 for Royal and the Pirates. The names are really tiny here. Evan Carter, maybe? I mean, I, I know he was raking in the postseason last year, but... But I think he's been a little... Has he been injured this year? No, he's he's been playing. Yeah, but he he's been really struggling this year. And we got an auto. We got Jose Devers, rookie auto for the fish. It's gonna be for Eugene. Yeah, Evan Carter in 144 at bats, 188, five home runs, 15 RBIs, 633 OPS. Let's get this Bowman Chrome going here. Yeah, I can see Josh Young more than more than Evan Carter. I think they've just you know, just a sort of a higher pedigree, I would I would say. Yeah, I guess second round isn't bad, but um, as opposed to sort of the more highly touted players, I'm going to use this blank card to hide the autos really quick. Some color in there. I'm going to avoid the color. Let's show this first. Here's Ezekiel Tovar to 150. That's for the Rockies. That's going to go to um, go to Tim and the Rockies. I think Ezekiel Tovar's been, yeah, he's been playing really well, actually. Uh, he's got a 2-8 war already this season. Over 277 at-bats, 292, 11 home runs, 31 RBIs, a 814 OPS. Hit a homer last night. Had a two-homer game. Uh a few nights ago. So playing really well. It's got 20 doubles, got a triple. So nice time to get this. I know the Rockies aren't, as a team, not playing well, but they've got some individuals on there. So nice one, Tim. Good time to get that. Here's Christian Santana, Tigers. It'll be for Matt. And the orange is Wilman Diaz. 25 out of 25. Orange shimmer for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Bart Bartholomew with that. 
All right, let's do another box. Yeah, I think on the Cubs, Imanaga would be, would be like the, would be like the prospect. He looks, looks like he's gonna do just fine. First one is David Garcia. Rangers, that'll be for David. There's a Gilberto Celestino, twins. That'll be for Alexander. And back here is Tyler Keenan, 204 out of 499, refractor autograph for Eugene and the Seattle Mariners. All right, I think we're starting to get to some, some good stuff now. Let's, uh, let's work through the 2020 archives. So old archives, retired player edition. And first player is going to be Jay Buhner. 11 out of 44. I remember Jay Buhner as a, this is going to go to the Yankees, to Tim. But I remember him as a Mariner, I want to say. And I think he had a big one of these, right? At least that's what, that's what I'm thinking of. Did you see the Buhner? Didn't Jay Buhner have a big... Uh, yeah, Billy like Goes. A big, like a long, not, in, not yeah. in New York, he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't in New York. It's pretty cool. Only mustaches in New York, right? I feel like he was only a Yankee for like, what, three years? Yeah. Classic, all right. More retired players. Next one is... Is... Three out of thirty. Oh, that's uh, Jim Abbott. Nice. You can see his facsimile autograph right there. Pretty good. That's for the California Angels, Matt, with the halos. Pretty amazing, amazing story. Not sure if we'll ever see that. Seeing a player, disabled player, with, without a, with, I think he was born without a hand, and being able to get to uh, the majors. I'm not sure if we're going to... Might not see that anytime soon. It might still happen though. All right. And we've got Jim Rice, 16 out of 40. Nice old, some old school guys in here. I like it. It's uh, Adam Kelly, Boston Red Sox. Nice Jim Rice, nice Rice. All right, uh, what should I do next? Uh, maybe em Eminent, I guess? Sure, how about some Eminent? All right, who do we got here? Nice Bryson Stott. That'll be for Taylor and the Phillies. This is green, should be to 99. 79 out of 99. Awesome. All right, uh, let's go to NT. I think this is the only box left that has more than one or two cards in here.
All right. Good luck, everybody. Right, where's my Jaspi branded blank car? There it is. Slow play some of the hits a little bit. Here's Dylan Cease. You can see some of the threading right there. Five out of ten. Jamie with the White Sox. Oh no, Tay Oscar, what are you doing? Twenty-five out of ninety-nine each row relic. It was in the glove. Oh that was a lazy fly ball to Teoscar Hernandez. Went off like the heel of the glove. Maybe took his eye eye off it just at the last second. Eugene with the Mariners gets the Ichiro relic. There's Jose Ramirez, nineteen out of twenty-five, quietly having a, a an excellent season. Like it's always kind of quietly. Brett, Cleveland, this is for you. There's Charlie Keller, 42 out of 99. Vigio will get it. There we go. Um, yeah, it's the Yankees, right? There's an Aaron Judge mention right here. Yeah, he's a Yankee. It's going to go to Tim. We got Jake Fraley. Nice patch and auto, 12 out of 25. The Mariners colors look really sharp in the relic windows, I think. It's going to go to uh, Eugene and the M's. Here uh, is Andres Munoz, dual relic and autograph, 16 out of 25 for the Friars. David with the Padres. There's Brandon McKay, rookie patch and auto, 31 out of 49. Uh, Eric Houston with the Rays, battling back from some injuries. Someone was saying the other day, Eric, that uh, that he's just doing, he's pitching only now, I think. What's he doing this season? He's already 28 years old. But he's made five starts. Has a one ERA over 18 innings, 17 strikeouts, one walk. So maybe maybe a late bloomer, someone to kind of look out for. Here's Ryan Zimmerman, 10 out of 10. You could probably consider him Mr. National, right? I think he was he was the first national draft pick. And I think stayed with the team his entire career. Nick Stanley with the Nats. Nice, that's a sharp looking card. All right, and the last one here, a, uh, a book, maybe landscape mode. Yes, Reggie Jackson, six out of 10. Cut signature material as a California angel. Where's Teddy, Teddy? How about this? Reggie Jackson as a California Angel. Oh. That makes you think of? Yeah, yeah, Naked Gun. Must kill the queen. <laughs> oh, Naked Gun. All right, nice Reggie Jackson for Matt Smith and the Angels. Must kill the queen. All right. What are we what are we going with next here? We've got some nice stuff next now. Uh, how about we'll go legends 
graded vintage rookie edition. Just a note here, if we pull, I'm trying to think of examples of where it might be a team that doesn't exist anymore, like the, I mean, if it's like Washington Senators of a certain era, some of the one, some one era turn into the Twins, another era and turn into the Rangers. And obviously Philadelphia A's will go to the current A's, so on and so forth. All right, we've got a graded card here. An SGC grade, and this is going to go to the San Francisco Baseball Giants, Orlando Cepeda from 1958 tops. An SGC four. Nice. Giants, John with my rivals. All right, maybe we'll go Gilded. Now, I don't know how many people are paying attention to the stream, but once we get to the hat and the mini helmet, we'll, uh, we'll play America's favorite game, Who Am I? Nice Riley Green rookie card, 75 out of 99. Tigers, that'll be for Matt. Wow, Ray Wave. Gunnar Henderson to 25, three out of 25, rookie. That's gonna be for Eric Houston. The autograph is nice, Trey Turner. 21 out of 25 for the Phillies. Taylor with the fight in Phils. They're gonna get Trey Turner back pretty soon. I'm going to lose JT Real Muto for a bit, but they're going to get Trey Turner back shortly. We're rooting for Spencer Torkelson to 75. It's going to be for Matt and the Tigers. And the gold frame. Is Lou Pinella. 39 out of 50, Lou Pinella. Pretty cool. That's going to go to the Yankees. That's going to go to Tim. All right, that was gilded. Let's go to luminaries. Nice stuff here. Is this landscape mode? Is it portrait mode? It might be portrait mode. Three out of 15. And it's Bobby Witt Jr. Nice. Relic and autograph. This is 2023 Luminaries, a Hit Kings autograph relic card. Royals. Terry with Kansas City. There you go, man. He's having an excellent season. Now we'll go to Hit Parade Sapphire on card edition. Was Trey Turner one of those terrible trades? I don't know. I mean, I think he was on like the last year or so of his contract, so. I think the Nationals felt they had to get anything for him before they moved him and Max Scherzer. They got Josiah Gray and Kiebert Ruiz, who were, at the time, one of the top Dodger catching and pitching prospects. I think maybe a couple others. I forget who else was involved, but I'm not sure. TBD, depending on how those two guys end up turning out. All right, what do we got here? In the hit parade, we have... Ken Griffey Jr. Wow, beautiful autograph from SP Authentic. I don't see a year here, but 
but an old version of SP Authentic. Oh, I think it's 1999 in that small print right there. That's awesome. Mariners edition. You can see the Mariners right there. Seattle, Eugene. Classic Ken Griffey Jr. autograph. That's awesome. All right. Our first round of Who Am I? Autographed Pro Style Hat. All the different authentication that they use here. It's in a Hit Parade drawstring bag. They should have the name of the player in here. Obviously, the team logo should be on the hat, so we should know exactly where this goes. All right. Uh, he is a retired pitcher. Played uh, played for mostly this team, the team on the hat, for my entire career. Ended up with uh, a 78 and 67 win loss record, 457 ERA, 889 strikeouts, a 1367 whip. Carlton had a little more than 889 strikeouts. Uh, this player wasn't didn't didn't have as much wasn't as highly touted as a, as a player, but had some flashes. He was a one-time All-Star um, with uh, with 13, went 13 to nine, a 4.27 ERA, right? And had uh, 134 strikeouts in 196 innings. He actually finished top 30 in MVP voting the season before that, 15 and 7 win loss record, 361 ERA. Pitched over 200 innings, made 32 starts, had 154 strikeouts in uh, 204 innings. Yeah. Um, an old uh, a Cuban player. Started with the Yankees for a couple seasons. And then his best years, I think, I think most of you will, if you watch baseball, you probably remember him. Um, pitched with the White Sox for a bulk of his career. Then got traded to Colorado, it looks like, and then finished off his career four seasons uh, in, with Philadelphia. A few seasons with Philadelphia. Spent his last season with the Pirates at 41 years old. Pitched five innings for the Pirates at 41 years old. It's gonna be kind of a tough one. But when you hear the name, most of you should be like, oh yeah, I remember that guy. Not Bartolo Colon. It's, uh, it's Jose Contreras. Right, he was an 05 World Series champ. He contributed the three postseason victories that tied Andy Pettit for the most second half victories in the major leagues with 11. And he threw his first complete game against the Twins. Yeah, I guess he was kind of a beast in the playoffs. There you go, White Sox. That's gonna be Jamie with the White Sox. That's pretty cool. You got all the authenticity stickers right there. The hat. There's the size. I don't know if it's if it's actually his hat size, but it's a proper new era cap. And it'll uh, and you can see Jose Contreras in the sticker right there as well.
All right, and the final, the 19th box of the break is gonna be the Hit Parade Mini Helmet. This is also in a drawstring bag. I think we ship these along with the hit. The name not written on the in the box. Maybe it's on the on the mini helmet. In the Jabba Chamberlain era, the old Mets or uh, the Yankees pitcher. All right, we got a uh, we got an active player here. We have an active second baseman, shortstop, 23 years old, a righty. Um, was with uh, two teams my entire career. I was with the Braves, got traded to this team um, for Chris Sale. It was the Chris Sale deal. How's he doing this season? Not, not, not too good. 81 at bats, 148. I'm sure uh, White Sox fan or why? I'm sure Red Sox fans probably want Chris Sale back. That was a that was a rough trade. He he must he must be injured or something like that. Oh yeah, on June uh, yeah he's been injured for much of the season. That's why his numbers don't look so good. But he was uh, I feel like he he was sort of a higher highly touted prospect, even though his he wasn't drafted very high. It's a uh, Von Grissom. Not 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 too exciting, but Von Grissom. If you remember who was, I guess the better question would be, who did the Braves trade to get Chris Sale? Red Sox. Yeah, you got it, Gentry. Uh, that's for Adam Kelly and the Red Sox. All right. Now, if you had a bad break, if you did not get good hits. You still got a shot at this. This will be the first, like I mentioned before, this will be the first randomizer, and then the second randomizer will be for the two mantle spots. So this is for the judge. Everyone's got a shot at that. And we'll use one dice roll for both of the lists. Here's the first one. Two and a two for the hard way. This is for the Aaron judge. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four. Four the hard way. Good luck, everybody. Lucas. Very close, just not quite. But thanks for trying, man. Thanks, everybody, for trying. Hopefully, you got some hits in return. Top. Name after four, though, is David. Wow. What a, what, a, what a past couple days for you. Buy a lottery ticket. You get the Aaron Judge Nike swoosh, one of one from Dynasty, on-card autograph. You even have the hologram sticker so you know exactly where that Nike swoosh came from. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Congrats, man. Who got it? David. 
Wow. With the Yankees' luck, he got that Babe Ruth one of one last night. And there was a Griffey auto. Yeah, from uh, from the Hit Parade, from 1999. All right, now the second full list dice roll or full list randomizer will be for the two mantle spots. In this particular mix, we're giving away two, two entries to chase the mantle. Two and a two for the hard way. Top two after a two and a two. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Now this time, top two. Yeah, I'll be here. All right, Jamie, very close, just not quite, but listen, again, I appreciate everybody getting in. Top two, you're chasing the mantle. David, <laughs> wow. And David. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, there you go. Buy a lottery ticket, David, and then, uh, you know, you can split some winnings with me and Michael. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with me. Pretty good break overall. Here are the, here's just a quick little recap. Right there, the Bobby Witt Jr., Lou Pinella, Trey Turner, wow. Gunner, the Orlando Cepeda, the out of 10 Reggie Jackson cut auto. We got Mr. Nat, Ryan Zimmerman, Brendan McKay. Some nice stuff here. We've got some old school guys in the archives. Jim Rice, Jim Abbott, Jay Buner, all Jays. And we got some some prospects here. All right, Ezekiel Tovar is having a great season. Pete Alonso rookie card, Juan Soto to five. Whoa. Wow. Luis Castillo, Corbin Carroll rookie card. We got Royce Lewis rookie card. Zach Neto. And then another out of five. We got Jimmy Glo uh, Glowenke. Out of five. Haber, yeah. Pretty nice break. There you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.